Well, it looks like Intel is going to release a couple of new video cards. And could this shake up the low to mid-range GPU market? Well, let's find out. So this particular article here is specifically about Intel knowing that 8 gigabytes of VRAM is not going to cut it moving forward. And well, no, it's not. 8 gigabytes in 2024, we're almost in 2025, isn't going to cut it that is definitely the case so they're going with 10 gigabytes plus instead now the pricing for the intel b580 and the intel b570 are actually priced significantly lower than competing gpus from nvidia and amd and that's where intel at least in this space could shake things up a little bit but again, we're looking at, you know, the low to mid-range GPU market. So if you're looking for a video card that is going to play games at 4K on Epic, um, no, you would go elsewhere. So what resolutions would you be able to use in games with these video cards? Well, 1080p would probably be the sweet spot, but I'm sure you could also do 1440p with these as well, as long as you lower the settings in the games. Now, just like AMD and NVIDIA, who have their own upscaling technologies, Intel has as well. It's called XESS. Now, upscaling technology is something that I don't use personally because I find it makes the overall image look quite blurry, unless, of course, the game forces you to use it. But it's a technology that is not quite there yet. And these two video cards, the B580 and the B570, will be relatively power efficient. Now, what are the costs on these and how much VRAM will each of these have? Well, let's go through that now. The B580 is fitted with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and it will cost around $250 US. The B570 will come with 10 gigabytes of VRAM and will cost a little less at $220 US. Now, I'm rounding these up. It's actually $249 US and $219, but time this is released, it could be higher, it could be lower. Who knows? However, they are very close in price. And personally, myself, if you have no other choice but to get something like this because of your budget, why would you go with the B570? It's only a few extra dollars for the 580. But again, we'll see how much they actually cost when they're released.